Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I have a little review of an older device. Here we have the iPad first generation. And yes, this is the very first iPad that Apple made. This iPad has a 256 mega has 256 megabytes of RAM, which is nothing for our days. Plus, it has 32 gigabytes. I'm not sure it, they would they would make them in 16, 8 or 32 if I'm right. I'm not sure about the 64. Well, this iPad has an A4 processor just like the iPhone 4. But this iPad, I don't I don't get it why they did that, but it had the, the iOS framework on it was stopped at 5.1.1. iOS 5.1.1. For me, I kind of find this ridiculous cuz honestly, I would tell this iPad can run until iOS 6 at least, or 7. Maybe not 7. Let's face it, if they want to make it for 7, I am sure they could. But, no. Because, well, I kind of understand, because this iPad only has 256 megabytes of RAM, which is nothing. I don't know how much the iPhone 4 has, but I know this one has a, just a little bit. So, let's jump in into the review. So as you can see, um, I have almost no games. I just have YouTube, Minecraft, and Clash of Clans. So let's jump in into Minecraft. And by the way, this battery on this device, oh wow, it lasts a month of standby at least. They are just amazing. It can last two months if it wants, if you don't touch it. The standby on this is just amazing. Forget the new devices. They don't make this anymore. These are amazing. This is a cellular version. So it has, you can put a SIM card in it and um, basically you can have 3G on it, but I don't, I just use my Wi-Fi. Cause honestly, this device is outdated now. So I don't really, I don't really use this anymore. Um, but let's try and use it. And show you how it how it can how it loads the, some games, how it loads Minecraft. So it's the game does not load really badly. I mean, it's very good actually. I loaded the game a, a little bit before, so it's not the first time I'm passing the day around here. But I have to say, it can be pretty laggy when you try and build something, mine some blocks, or go and discover stuff of what, like what I'm doing. It's not a smooth experience. It's, it's not perfect. But we can live with something like this. Per, like, let's take an example here. Swimming. Swimming is okay. And I know I'm in creative, by the way. So I can fly, yes, I know. I'm not gonna build a very nice house, so don't judge my house. It will not be nice. Let's try and find something. Just something random to build the house of out okay i'm gonna do a house with diamond blocks because they're kind of cool see just mining blocks can be a little bit laggy but i i could live with this this is the thing in the day the app was made minecraft was made to run on this device I was a little bit old. Uh, and the day when it was brand new, Minecraft would run without any problems, any issues. Of our days, now the game is a little bit more heavy. So now the darkness is going up. So let's put a little bit of torches. Because. Wouldn't be a bad idea.
Let's just fill the whole wall of torches in this case. Because I want lighting. I want you guys to be able to see what we are working with. Alright, I have the torch there, so... Well, not work. It's very hard to actually play Minecraft in the back of a camera and try and center center you the game. It's not easy. YouTube is not easy, guys. Now, I know what you guys are going to tell me. What kind of house is this? I know. I know. It's not a house. It's not really anything so I do not like the way you have to scroll down we're gonna use glowstone on this floor because I kind of like glowstone and I don't care with the outside we're just gonna do the inside So I'm just gonna do this, like around this. So it's totally livable. I mean, you can live with this without any issues. That's what my main concern is. If this is usable every day to go to school, yes it is, but yeah, like pages will be outdated. You're gonna put the old pages that was made before iOS 6, which good luck with that. You have to download the old versions of the apps. Well, anyways, we're just gonna do this device doesn't have much to review on, besides how fast it loads an internet page and how much, how good it is for playing a game. But you can clearly see it's not that bad. So we're gonna exit the game. There you go. And now. Let's go and open Safari up. And I'm just gonna go and write Google. There you go. There you go. And clearly, it's kind of slow. Fine. I can live with this, no problem. You can see it works perfectly. So here, let's go and type I don't know, YouTube. So this is not, by the way, this is not HD. So, it's maybe not, it doesn't maybe has the best display ever, but it's very good still. And like before, we can actually do like this. And get the brightness up and down. The volume. Let's search non-copyrighted music. How about this song? So as you can see, it's kind of lagging on me a little bit. Which is not, it's not lagging, it's kind of slow. This is my personal opinion. As you can see, a normal device would open it right away. If I want to forward the video. It's not that bad. The audio is very good still. Even if it's an older device, the audio is still very good. And this is pretty much what I have to say about the device. It, it works perfectly right. It's, it works how it's supposed to work. Everything is still good in it. I mean, everything. If you 
Think about it, this is a six year old device and it works like a brand new one, which kind of gets me happy. So anyways, thank you very much everyone. And if you want me to bring back this iPad on the channel next time for the next video, for the next video, just tell me. I'll come back and I'll put this iPad up again and do a review of the iPad more in details, you know, and compare it to its little brother right here. The iPad mini, the first generation iPad mini. This is all first generation and this is a smart company. As you can see, I did not prepare the device. Let me just clean it a little bit. There you go. So as you can see, I have my microfiber cloth, works every time. It's out of battery, but I don't want to show the information down there. But as you can see, we have two first generations of iPads. iPad mini one, iPad one, the original one. This is just a Wi-Fi one, 16 gigabytes, it's my friend's, it's not mine. But we're gonna compare them in the next video. I wanna see who's gonna win. Well, I know this one is a lot better, but for a first generation, let's see how, how good is it versus this one. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, consider subscribing, put a like on this video, please don't judge me, I'm still starting YouTube, so I might not be very good, but at least I'm trying, and peace.